So today we're uh, taking a look at our kilowatt meter, which is um, pulling in about 225, 227 kilowatt hours. Um, what we have outside is a, just a small solar array to supplement um, the house electricity. What we're using is a 300 watt grid tie inverter, which is going directly into the house um, line. This is a very specific one designed uh, to do that grid tie inverter and you got to be careful some of the um, inverters are not for the grid tie in but for charging batteries this inverter specifically is not for charging batteries so here we have our connectors what we have connected to this is one 100 watt crystalline type solar panel and two of the 45 watt harbor freight setups so that's a total of 190 watts um, that the solar panels are rated for however it is um, early uh, mid mid September here in New England, and I do believe that the 100 watt crystalline panel is working um, far more um, efficiently than it's rated as it is in direct sunlight at the moment. And I'll take a shot of that in a second. Um, the two Harbor Freights are the amorphous type solar panels. They're 45 watts um, for each array of three, so they're three 15 watt panels um, for a total of 45. And I have two of those set up. So that makes 90 watts plus 100 all tied into the same so theoretically I should only be getting 190 kilowatts but today in direct sunlight we're pulling in about 225 to 27 it is about 2 o'clock in um, northern New England as you can he see from this shot this uh, shows the um, there are actually six panel array um, they're tilted a little bit high as I'm going to have to tilt them back as we approach winter and then there's one 100 watt solar panel array right there and they're all tied in together to one um, inverter um, as I said this is a grid tie inverter system to supplement the house grid it's not designed to charge batteries however I could convert it by pulling this inverter out and using a um, charge controller and uh, get a battery set of battery array but we've been doing this as an experiment to get our house electricity bill down and we've been doing pretty well with that actually uh, this summer we saved anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars a month because uh, we also did a number of other things as well as added this portable system so there you have it there's our 190 watt array which is now currently pulling in 226 or so 225 kilowatt hours so it's a good idea to get a kilowatt meter um, and obviously uh, I would highly recommend you consult with an electrician before you try to set up a system like that you understand what you're doing I only went for a small mobile system that way if I wanted to move it I could do that um, this is not designed to be a permanent off-the-grid solution only to supplement our current usage so we can maximize uh, and minimize our electric bill every month